Hi, I'm Dave with One Adventure at a Time. Today I want to share with you what drone we've been using on our YouTube channel. This will not be a tutorial. I'll be sharing my experience with you. What I like about the drone and what I don't like. Check out this footage. The intro you just watched was shot with my DJI Mavic Air. I've been flying this drone for about 14 months. I've logged 107 flights and 24 flight hours. The three main reasons we chose this drone was price. It was $799, about the most expensive drone that we could afford at the time. The size, we needed something small and compact because we knew we we're gonna be doing a YouTube channel we knew that we needed to be able to keep it in our van and pack it in our pack when needed to go for a hike. The camera, we wanted something high quality, something that would make the viewer feel like they were watching a movie. After 14 months, you might ask why I like this drone. It's easy to fly. It's got six sensors on it, object avoidance. So it's got two sensors on the front, two sensors on the back and two on the bottom. So that means it's hard to crash into something without it automatically stopping. It's got a three axis gimbal. And what makes this cool is when the drone is flying, if it's got wind current or you're changing directions, it stays nice and smooth. And it looks very cinematic. It comes with presets. Now I only use three presets, but they come in very handy. First, circle. So I can do a circle manually, and I do like to use the controls and handle most uh, filming manually, but sometimes you need to get in tight and make a tight circle around an object, whether it's a person or a vehicle or just a small area. And that preset comes in super handy because it stays tight and perfect. The next preset I like is Profile. Now Profile's pretty cool because it flies, the drone actually flies sideways along whatever object that you attach it to. So whether it's a vehicle that's on the move or somebody just walking, it keeps that profile shot nice and smooth and maintains the exact same speed. The other preset I like is called spot. Now you basically set the drone in the air, flying and hovering and mark it on an object and it will watch that object move. So it stays steady, stays in the same spots and follows that object. Cinematic mode. I've been using this a lot more recently and I really like it. It desensitizes the controls and allows for a lot smoother maneuver. Whether you're going from side to side, up or down, it makes that cinematic feel to it silky smooth. I love this function. This drone does very well in windy conditions. So I've never had a problem with it actually pushing the drone away where I had to run off and go retrieve it. It gives me a wind warning and lets me know that the wind is too strong and I need to land it as soon as possible. Obviously I'm not going to fly it during a high wind warning, but so far it has been usable in every situation we put it to the test in. Alright, durability. So earlier I was telling you about the sensors, how it keeps you from hitting an object. Well I have crashed this drone three times. First time I ran it right into a wind chime and that's because it's a small object and it just didn't see it. It's not perfect. So it's not going to run into a large object, but a small object, you still have to be careful. The second time I crashed it, I put it in sport mode, which disables all the sensors. And then I flew it inside the van and it got away from me and smacked straight into the wall. The last time, I was going for a landing on a river, tried to land it on a kayak. It landed on the kayak and then flipped off into the water. It didn't completely submerge before I grabbed it, but it was definitely wet. So after all three of these crashes, I had no problems with the drone, haven't had to replace any parts. Everything's been working fine. Now to talk about what I don't like about this drone. And it's pretty simple for me, it's flight time. The max flight time is 21 minutes, which sounds like a lot, 
but you add in the wind factor, realistically, I'm getting 15 to 16 minutes of flight time. So if I have three or four minutes to fly to a certain area, and then it takes me a minute or two to set up for the shot, and then a few minutes to fly back, I have very limited footage that I can use. So I do feel like I need a minimum two to three batteries. As you can tell, I really like this drone. I think this is the perfect drone for us. And if you're a beginner and you're gonna grow and hone your skills, this could be the drone for you. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please ask. And like our patrons, semi-retired Bob says, if you don't like the video, just tap that thumbs down button twice. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next video. You don't see that jerky. Beef jerky? Beef jerky. <laughs> the three main reasons we chose this drone. <laughs> okay, I'm, hang on. This video, I'll be sharing you. Ready? Hi, I'm Dave. <laughs> wow, this is so hard. I was like, go, I'm ready to do this. Okay. <laughs>